please avoid boom down for the foreseeable future until weapon testing is resolved.
try to leave your dome, think tank, and you will be punished by the pincered might of my Robo-Scorpion army. Might I be of service, sir? Might I be of service, sir? You require some additional service? will be complete. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire. Soon I will. What? It, it did? Really? Well, fuck. That really puts a damper on the toaster's mood. Oh well. No use crying over spilled Armageddon. Where was I? Oh, right. Soon the world will burn in nuclear fire! Again! Just all those goddamn dirty dishes out there with no one to clean them, it breaks my heart! 
Of course I'm obsessed. They made me this way. You think I don't know how crazy I sound? Of course I do. They programmed me to know that too. They made me just to torture me. But you know, it's the neglect that hurts the most. Hey, everybody, let's turn ourselves into robot brains in jars. Do you know how many coffee cups giant robot brains in jars use on a daily basis? Not fucking many! I'm supposed to keep them clean. Oh, God! The thought of all those dirty dishes out there makes me crazy. Most of them are probably beyond saving now. The only thing left is break them down and process them for raw materials. I guess you could have those. Anything else, he asks. Like I don't long for the chance to be more than an erotic busboy. If you must know, at one point Dr. Mobius programmed me to manufacture electronic components in my central chassis. That module got corroded when the toaster spilled hot crumbs down my fence, though. If you find a backup somewhere, I could maybe do that for you. Is the new subject mugs? Sure. Nobody wants to hang out with mud. As an ignorant man, and one day you'll realize that facts are stubborn things. And it doesn't stop to the fat lady sings. And if a woman is skinny, don't trust her. It means that she don't eat much, and the woman that don't eat can't cook. And if she can't cook, she don't read a book. And that's not a situation to be in. And one last thing, young man. A happy wife is a happy life. It's better to sleep on the edge of the roof than to live in a house with a quarrelsome woman. Yeah. Might I be of service, sir? Very good indeed, sir. Throwing out the riffraff protocols engaged. All personality matrices are offline, sir. Do you, sir? Well, if... you. You're filthy. I suppose you'll want to clean up then? Oh, it's just so unsanitary. Do you know how many germs are in one cubic centimeter of dirt? Seventy hundred gajillion. Would you want that getting washed down your gullet day in and day out? I didn't think so. You can have as much as you like. Just uh, please don't put your lips on the faucet. It's so unsanitary. Nobody's perfect. You've been working with that biological research station, haven't you? I suppose you'll want to... Ugh, clean up. Oh, I'd love to, darling. But the circuits that allow me to dispense water into non-organic containers burned out years ago. You'd have to find a replacement for that module. Come back any time. Well, hello. Oh, 
Oh my! Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. Oh, well, that's very sweet of you. Maybe one of these nights we can discuss theorems? Me too. Hope you can keep up. I work pretty fast. Here, something for you to brush up on. Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Dr. Mo- I'm happy to answer what I can. Certainly, I'm looking forward to it. was a nice little uh, cat nap. How long was I out? <laughs> oh, you. I bet you say that to all the light switches. Now I know you're flirting with me, and it's working. Why don't you take this to remember me by? I was Dr. Mobius's personal assistant. We were studying, um, oh shoot, what was it? Oh yeah, lightning. No, no, wait, uh, lighting. That's right, how lighting affects human interaction. Oh, it was super exciting. It turns out that some pretty colored lights can make you way better at talking to people. Oh, I'd love to, sweetie, but I don't have the programming. All the data from the experiments was lost. You'd have to go out into that nasty old crater and find the backup copy. Oh, her. Trust me, sweetie, you're better off not thinking about that frigid little ice queen. That bitch. She thinks she's so much better than everybody just because her processors are bigger. Ooh, she makes me so mad. Sure thing, sweetie. Bye now. <laughs>